sometimes it can come out of nowhere and she will start screaming at the top of her lungs. She will hit herself. Desperate for help, but falling through the cracks. It is a crisis so many families in our state are facing tonight. A lack of services for children with severe mental health problems. 7 Action News reporter Amory LaFlame continues our series, Waiting for Disaster. We've received dozens of calls and emails from parents saying they have nowhere else to turn. Talia Blum was one of the most extreme cases, exploding in violent outbursts while her parents beg for someone to help. We have called all over. Nobody will take her. We're sorry. Michelle Blum says she's tried everything to get treatment for her 17-year-old daughter with autism. I was blown away by the lack of support there is for these children. There is such a fine line between the normal population and these kids that are falling through the cracks, and especially autistic children who are nonverbal and have other disabilities. They just don't have the ability to take them. Michelle and her husband adopted Talia when she was just two years old. Azerbaijan, and a lot of people don't know where it is. Uh, um, it's just below Russia. It borders Turkey and Iran. She says they sensed something different when they first met her, but felt this was their calling. And it wasn't until um, puberty hit where the downhill slide came and it came fast. It, it was almost as if a switch had been turned on. <laughs> Sometimes it can come out of nowhere and she will start screaming at the top of her lungs. She will hit herself. She's gotten to the point where she's bloodied her mouth. She's hitting her forehead. She's hitting her mouth. She's scratching her arm. She's punching. And if you try to step in to stop her, the attacks come on you. But Michelle says the hospitals turn her away and she's told time and time again that Talia doesn't qualify for the Medicaid waiver to receive treatment from the state. She's also told there's no place for Talia that her private insurance will pay for. Michigan Department of Health and Human Services says they can't comment on any specific case or individual due to confidentiality requirements. I think I'm just so disgusted with the process. I, I'm so disgusted by the way it's handled. I mean, we have a health care system in place now that it's supposed to be there for everybody. Everybody's supposed to have a right to health care. But yet, for some reason, these children still don't have that right. Talia's psychiatrist, David Villanueva, is just as frustrated as Michelle, watching his patients fall through the cracks. We don't have these programs anymore. They have closed. But a mother's love fuels Michelle's fight, determined to give her daughter the treatment and therapies she so desperately needs. I want her to lead the best life she can possibly lead. I want her to be as successful as she possibly can be. If, if she can't talk, I have to do it for her. I have to continue to fight for her because nobody else is going to do it. Now, since we shot our story, Talia's violent outbursts have only escalated, leaving the Blum family in a crisis situation. Michelle says the state is still refusing to help, and now she's fighting for her private insurance to pay for Talia to go to a treatment facility in Maryland, something she says they're not willing to do. I'm Anne Marie LaFlame. 7 Action News.